everyone uh, so today I'm going to share with you guys about the basic buffer solution sorry basic buffer solution uh, so as we know the pH of the basic thing uh, is more than 7 okay so basic buffer solution is made up of a weak base and its salt so the salt containing its conjugate acid okay please correct your slide conjugate acid so for example here is ammonia and we have nh4cl okay ammonium chloride dekat sini so ammonia nh3 is a weak base so this is the salt all right uh, the two equation involved this is the first one the first equation this is the second equation okay so ammonia uh, dissolve in water so they akan uh, dissociate partially right sebab ni weak base so they akan dissociate partially to form these two ions alright so this ion by definition uh, based on Bronsted lorry uh, a base is a substance that accept H plus so when this weak base accept H plus it become NH4 plus kan okay. so NH4 NH4 plus ni ialah uh, its conjugate acid ok then this is the salt and then the salt must contain the conjugate acid so sama kan conjugate acid dia ni sama so ini ialah salt ok as I mentioned earlier in acidic buffer solution Okay, the video I said, uh, when we are talking about the buffer solution, um, kita tak buat equation macam ni. Kita tak buat equation ammonia campur dengan NH4Cl. Okay, kita tak buat equation macam ni lah. So, untuk buffer solution, uh, when we said contain weak base and salt, so two different equations. Okay, next. Uh, NH4Cl dissociate completely. Right, the salt dissociate completely. So, bila dissociate completely, kita akan pakai arrow yang macam ni. Okay, when dissociate completely, so dia akan produce a very high concentration of ammonium ions. Okay, the high concentration of ammonium will disturb the equilibrium of the dissociation. Okay, the dissociation of NH3. Alright, so kalau kita tengok dekat sini, bila dia completely dissolve, so maksudnya the delta, um, apa degree of dissociation is 1 ataupun percentage dia uh, is 100%. So maksudnya dia contain very much, uh, very high concentration of ammonium. So bila dekat sini tinggi, so maksudnya benda tu dalam satu bika, right? Kan, dalam satu bika yang sama. So kat sini, concentration tinggi lah juga. So bila dia concentration tinggi, dia akan shift backward. Okay, shift backward to produce more weak base, which is in this case ammonium. Sorry, ammonia. Okay, the high concentration. Uh, huh. So, in this solution, sekarang ni ada high concentration of ammonia and the conjugate acid. Okay, uh, basic buffer action. Sama lah juga macam kalau uh, acidic buffer uh, from the previous video. Um, so, buffer solution dia akan maintain its pH kan? Uh, so, kita kena reflect lah. Kita, uh, the pH will maintain if we add small amount of acid or small amount of base. Alright, so addition small amount of acid sebab acid kan? Uh, ini ialah strong acid ya. Yeah? Strong acid. Okay, strong acid contain H plus ataupun uh, H3O plus. Okay, therefore yang akan react dengan acid tu ialah base. Okay, dalam new pun kita punya buffer solution ini ialah basic. Basic buffer solution. So, bila kita tambah um, acid H plus. So, yang akan react tu ialah dia punya base lah. Okay, so bila base react dengan acid, okay, ini ialah yang small acid added. Ini kan, small acid added kan. So inilah dia punya acid. So kita akan forming 
the ammonium ion and H2O. So untuk case ni, um, uh, amount of ammonium will increase a little but this will cause the equilibrium to shift to the left. Okay, dia akan patah balik. So dia akan replace ammon um, ammonia use. So the pH tak akan affected sangat lah. Sebab dalam basic solution tadi, kita ada apa? Kita ada weak. Okay, kita ada weak base. So weak base ni bila dia dissociate, so dia akan form uh, NH4 plus dan juga uh, OH minus kan. Okay, lepas tu dia ada salt NH H4Cl. Okay, bila dissociate dia akan jadi NH4 plus dan juga Cl minus. Okay, so maksudnya bila kita tambah H plus, kita tambah acid yang react ialah base. So, bila base tu react, okay, maksudnya base ni kita dah pakai lah. Lepas tu dia akan produce this thing kan. Okay, lepas tu uh, what happen here, dia akan shift balik lah. Maksudnya kita pakai uh, NH3 tapi dia akan produce balik NH3 tu. That's why the pH will not much affected. Okay, for this one, uh, if we add small amount of strong base to the solution, okay, this is base, kita tambah base. So, dalam solution tu, apa yang akan react? Acid. Okay, in this case, conjugate acid. Okay, the conjugate acid, this comes from the salt. Okay, so dia akan react. Ni ialah sodium hydroxide added. Okay, dia akan produce balik ammonia. So, the amount of ammonia will increase a little but since the dissociation is uh, small, so the pH is not much affected. Okay, sebab ini ialah weak base. Okay, bila weak base, dia kan dissociate partially kan? Okay, so dia akan, uh, the pH is not much affected lah. pH dia akan sama sebelum kita tambah dengan uh, small amount of base. Okay, so next kita akan masuk calculation of uh, pH untuk basic solution. Thank you.